Hello everyone, so glad to see you. I am Virginia Prodan, the host of Courageous Leadership with Virginia Prodan, which airs every Wednesday at Saturday at 10 o'clock Central Time on Spotify, Podbean, Apple Podcasts, ADP Podcast Network, and of course you can watch our podcast on YouTube channel. We are so grateful for you, for your participation, for your questions. And today I'm going to show, to answer your question, how to be a messenger of hope under un uncertainty that surrounds us and you in particular. The Bible defines hope as the confident expectation of the fact that what God promised, he will accomplish. Or the confidence expectation in God's strength and sovereignty of uh, every circumstances in our lives. Or confidence expectation of his faithfulness or his unfailing love, just to enumerate a few of them. Hope is so necessary today in America. I just cannot believe that few years back, 30 something years back when I came to America from socialist Romania, America was for many the hope of the world. Things have changed. Daily I'm contacted and helping people here in America, as many experience loneliness, fear, anger, depression, seeing their lives spending out of control, financially, emotionally, and even spiritually. <coughs> if you feel the same, you're not alone. I'm here to help you. And help comes from my own experience, my own experience with God. I walk in your shoes and I'm walking in your shoes right now in, in the same circumstances that everyone is in America. We are experience circumstances, things that we never experienced them before. I understand your frustration, anger, or even worries. I know Tired people, you see them everywhere. And many of them suggested that, you know what? You have to accept the new reality. Instead, I encourage you to fight, to rise up and be the messenger of hope. Let your voice be heard. You can be a messenger of hope. For those of you who read my memoir, Saving My Assassin, you can buy the book at my website, virginiaprodanbooks.com slash product slash book. You know that I experienced and I was a messenger of hope in, even under persecution in Romania. Many of them, you read about the outrageous, I was, the fact that I was under outrageous circumstances at home as a child or later fighting against the socialist government for freedom and defending Christians and human rights cases. And then arriving to America empty handed, not knowing any English, not having money or friends, raising three kids as a single mom on my own and having to go to law school uh, again and opening my, my business. And now, with COVID that we all have to go through, inflation and so forth, we all experience hardship in our lives and we are experiencing right now in America. But no matter what, I was determined and I am determined to fight daily to win from out of the circumstances, situation around me to, and to find in those out of control circumstances, as I learned from my experience in Romania and here in America, 
to find God's hidden blessings and joy out in those circumstances specific for me in those out of control situation. And I want you to know that you need to find God's hidden blessing for you in those out of control circumstances in your life. I am determined to accomplish with God's power the mission that he gave me in life, mission of hope and victory, no matter the circumstances around me. And like I said, you will find this in my memoir. And my memoir is just an example of God's power, what he is capable to do in a surrounded life, in an obedient life. And he can do it in your life and he loves to do it in your life. Yes, it can be done. It's not easy, but it can be done with God. My journey started in Romania during the dictator, socialist dictator Nicolae Ceausescu. I was surrounded by darkness, darkness of the socialist regime, hopeless, fearful, and defeated people. That led me to a legal profession to defend human and religious rights cases. I took the dictator to court under those circumstances as a Christian, young Christian attorney. Many of my cases became part of United Nations reports on human rights violations, or became part of United States reports on human rights violation in socialist Romania under Nicolae Ceausescu. I forced the dictator to respect the human rights and I exposed him to the world was God's power, in God's power. And for that reason, I was declared by the socialist government and dictator Ceausescu an enemy of the state. My legal work was declared an act of treason. I was arrested, tortured, placed under house arrest, and I came within seconds of being executed under the order of Nicolae Ceausescu himself, who sent an assassin to my office to kill me. But God's power in me changed my assassin by sharing the gospel with him into a brother in Christ. Later, I was exiled to America, and I arrived to America empty-handed, no money, no friends, not knowing English, facing a new darkness of rebuilding my life. Soon after I arrived, I found myself as a single mom taking care of three kids, but I turned to God, and God brought me to his victory, because with God, everything is possible. He can turn your circumstances, horrible, terrifying circumstances, into victorious circumstances. I learned English. I went to law school for the second time, this time in Dallas, Texas, at SMU Law School. I started my own law firm. I uh, um, wrote my memoir published by Tyndale House Publisher, and I raised three kids. One graduated from SMU like me. The second one graduated from Harvard Law School, and my son graduated from United States Air Force Academy. Like I said, I wrote my book, Saving My Assassin. I hope you read it and you'll be encouraged by the power of God in one life and what he will be able to do it in your life. Also, you will discover what God can do even in the life of people that will love to kill you or mock you or do everything that is horrible against you. My assassin, after years, he came one time in Dallas, Texas. I didn't recognize him until he showed me his Securitate ID, and I realized I was in front of my former assassin, now here in Dallas, Texas, at my law office. And as we share together what God is doing in our lives, I share that I'm writing my book, and he asked me to let him write a chapter in my book and today you're gonna read what 
what his chapter in my book and what God is doing in his life. God is an amazing God. I'm helping people now as a messenger of hope and speaking all over the world to move from worries, fear of the circumstances to move forward in Christ to greatness. If you are interested to learn more about our training, go to virginiaprodanbooks.com slash contact and tell us what you need and we will help you. In order for each of us to fight and win and be a messenger of hope, first we have to win the battle inside of us. To build the warrior in us, or in another word, to let God build the warrior in us. To be daily the messenger of hope, not only to ourselves, but to others around us. You can do it too. You can be a messenger of hope, an encourager, no matter your circumstances. In Christ, he can do that. He has done it in my life, and I will be happy to help you, to train you to do the same. I can show you how under stress God helped me and can help you too to get stronger, to be bold and courageous. How to find your value in God, not in your circumstances or what people said or will say about you. How to stop suppressing your fear, your anger, and release them to God who will give you the power, his power. To, he will transform you into a messenger of hope and into a powerful person that is in you that you don't even know that existed. How to practice daily your new story as a messenger of hope and to erase all those negative story out of control stories that are hidden and sometimes they come to surface in your life. How to kill the giant attacking you daily. You want to kill that giant now as he is maybe just a baby. You don't want to let the giant grow. How to walk in your Christ given greatness that is in you, how to let God release that hope in you and make you a messenger of hope, how to be kind to yourself, as, to be kind to yourself and also to be yourself, to be what God created you to be. You need not only to believe, but you need to practice and to act. May no mistake, motivation or belief without actions is only delusion. Will not move you from depression, anger, or fear. You need to feed your mind with God's word, his greatness. Exercise your faith. Yes, step by step and take courageous actions. I can help you do that. The responsibility is yours if you want to change your life and let God change your life and help, let me help you to change, to show you how God changed my life. Don't wait for others to do it for you. But by taking actions, you will become a messenger of hope and you will give God a chance to give you his hope in you and to others. You need to break the fear in you and around you and to let God change you. There is not enough to think or hope that you will become a messenger of hope. You must make immediate decisions and act. You were created to manage your circumstances, not to be managed by your circumstances. In God, that's your purpose. Otherwise, you will lose, and you will lose it badly. 
after all you see that you are losing right now. Those steps that I explained to you, implemented correctly, will change your life. You can become a messenger of hope if you want to. And I hope you want to be a messenger of hope. You don't like where you are. You, you, you want your own life to be changed, your family, your business, your church, and your community. And you can be an instrument, a messenger of hope. Please hear me. We are at the crossroad in America. And maybe you are at the crossroad in your life or in your family. But in our struggles or struggles, in our circumstances, remember that God put hidden blessings for each one of us. And God is ready to train us for a greater future. He is training us right now. Maybe you don't notice. You don't need even think about. You maybe think that God is punishing you. I can show you otherwise. But we must let God show us those hidden powers and blessings and let God change your life. How? I will be more than happy to show you step by step. If you are here, you are listening. After all, you are halfway through. You are ready for a change. America needs, not only you, but America needs bold and courageous leaders, people like you. Courageous people, messengers of hope like we never had before because we never had in America so many hopeless circumstances and situation coming our way. People like you and me, we need to see now, reflecting now, and being now the hope of Christ for others. And that is possible. I am telling you it was possible for me to do it under a cruel socialist dictator and dictatorship and persecution in Romania and it is possible for me to do it every single day here and it will be possible for you too. Having a vision of God, God's victory vision first in us before we see and we accomplish outside of us and for everyone around us is the first step to be a messenger of hope. You need to break that fear, that anger in you, and let God change you. That is not enough to think of hope. You must make decisions, good decisions immediately, and to act. Remember, you are created to manage your circumstances in Christ not to be managed by your circumstances. And if you don't do that, you will lose badly. You will lose badly. Look at the rate of suicidal in America today. Look at the rate of divorce in America. Look at the rate of people with mental health and problems. But those steps implemented correctly that I explained to you can change your life. And you can become a messenger of hope in your life, in your family, in your business, your church, your community, and soon around the world. I have some action steps for you in your journey to become a messenger of hope. Write down those three things. One, what are the two decisions, the two decisions you have been putting off in your life in order to become a messenger of hope. Number two, what will it cost you if you don't follow through to those steps that I, or trainings that I presented to you and change your life from what is now overwhelmed, disappointed, depressed, full of fear to 
become a messenger of hope? What is that cost to you, to your family, and to your business? Number three, what's one action you can take immediately today? I hope you are taking those three questions. Feel free to send us your, your answer. We would love to help you. And I have uh, an advice for you. Be kind to yourself. It's a process. It's a journey. It's not one thing done at one day. Take actions now. I'm here to help you, especially during those challenging and changing times here and ahead of us. I'm here to help you. If you're interested in training, please go to virginiaprodanbooks.com slash contact and tell us what you need. Remember, you are unique, <coughs> special, one of a kind. God never created a copy. He creates unique, special people. You are destined to greatness and you are destined to be a messenger of hope. If you want to invite me to speak at your group or at your club or at your school, go to virginiaprodanbooks.com. On the top, you have speaking requests. I'll be happy to encourage you, your group, your school. I hope that you will take those notes and you will want to be a messenger of hope because that's what God created you for greatness. God created you to be a messenger of hope. Do not remain to the stage you are right now, fear, anger, confusion. I hope to hear from you. And thank you so very much for being here. And remember, Courageous Leadership with Virginia Prodan podcast. It's every Wednesday and Saturday at 10 o'clock Central Time. You can hear on Spotify, Podbean, Apple Podcasts, ADP Podcast Network, and you can also watch it on YouTube channel. Remember, you are so precious to me, to us, and to, to God. You are here for a reason and for a purpose. You are exactly at the time that God decided for you to be because you will be so useful in his hands. He can change you and he can transform you into a messenger of hope. You will have hope no matter the circumstances around you. You can read in my book and you can understand the God of the universe who gave me hope in an interrogation room in a in the face of being being killed by my assassin pointing a gun at me, building rebuilding my life under so hard circumstances as a foreigner, came in here not knowing English, now knowing everyone, now having any money, God is ready to change your life in a way that you will never, never imagine. People from all over the world, I speak not only in America, but all over the world, from Australia, from Europe, from uh, New Zealand, from uh, uh, Argentina, from Africa, from all over the world, that are writing me and telling me how much I changed their lives by reading the book or hearing me speaking. Many of them hope that I will return to speak to them again. Imagine that if you let God change your life, you will be a messenger of hope and he will use you not only in your community, but all over the world. Be encouraged and keep in touch. God bless you. Bye-bye.